Jia. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This channel is all about shopping and law of attraction because both of the things are like stress buster for me. Since the day I knew law of attraction, it has changed my life. It has changed my perspective for a lot of things. And I am still growing and learning. Shopping is like never ending quest, never ending fun, never ending entertainment for me and I know a lot of you really love shopping and that's the reason you are here. So today's purpose might be that you want to know a lot of things about Sarojinaga. You might be new, you might be from Delhi, you might be from some other city and you have a lot of questions. So these are the questions I have actually collected from you guys. Let's begin with where is Sarojinagar market? Sarojini Nagar Market is in south part of New Delhi. When should you visit Sarojini Nagar Market? You can visit Sarojini Nagar Market any day throughout the week, but the best days would be Monday, Wednesday, and weekends too. But weekends are mostly crowded. So if you have patience and you know how to bargain, definitely go there. Third question is, when is Sarajanagar market closed? And should you visit on that closed day? Most of the South Delhi markets are closed on Monday, but they are not really closed. You will find a lot of shops and a lot of um, hawkers and a lot of patriwalas open on that day. They will be actually clearing their uh, stuff and they will be selling all the stuff for 10 and 20 bucks. And that's the reason I told you in the last question that Monday are the, one of the best days to visit there. My personal favorite is Monday, Wednesday, and sometimes Fridays. What is the opening and closing time for Sarajanagar Market? Sarajanagar Market opens at 9 a.m. but you will find a lot of, uh, you will find very less shops open. So 9.30 a.m. is the best time to start with. You will be fresh, the shopkeepers will be fresh and they will have open mind and they will be welcoming you. They will be giving you a lot of stuff at great prices whatever you ask for if you know how to bargain because they have to do the boni what is boni boni is the first sale of the day so a shopkeeper finds it very auspicious to start their first sale at a very happy and at a very peaceful note so yes this is what is called boni ask Surajnagar stuff second hand stuff some of them are. Most of them are rejects from brands, companies and desires. So yes. Where to shop for footwear in Sarojinagar? My personal favorite would be Keens, uh, Stelitos, um, Incense and uh, there is one more shop I'm forgetting the name of. Uh, it is called Tip and, Tips and Toes. Tip and Toes. Something like that. It is in the big C lane. So, yes. What's the minimum amount you should take with you in order to shop in Sarajanagar Market? I would say start with 2000 bucks because, guys, you will find great deals and stuff in Sarajanagar. And I'm telling you, that you will not stop at just two or three pieces. You would not know when you have actually finished your 2000 bucks. So yes, start with 2000 bucks. That is my starting point. How much time do we need to spend in Sarajanagar in order to shop a lot of good stuff? I'll tell you one fact about shopping. And I'm sure that you know that too, that in Sarojinagar, Whenever you are shopping, two hours go like in a snap, in a blink of eye. So I would say that four hours minimum if you are like me and if you are really planned, you have listed down things and you want to stick to it, then I would say two hours, more than enough. Okay to bargain or not in Sarajnagar, which is no brainer, right? It's a thrift market, go ahead and bargain away. But 
you should be very patient buyer and very patient bargainer who bargains a lot. So yes, bargain. Here are a few things that I have learned over the time. That's the reason I want to talk about it. Most of the questions that I just covered are the questions mostly asked by you guys. But these are my personal favorites and I want everyone to know about it. First thing is that how to know if a piece you're buying, whether it is branded or not, whether it is Surajinagar or somewhere else. I will tell you a few things. If a cloth is genuinely branded, you will always find a tag on the bag near the collar area and you will find the uh, what do you call it labels of how to wash and where it was made and stuff on the sides if you see the sides are torn and labels are torn it's fine it's still branded because if you will find anything looking like cheap quality but still say the label still says a Vera Moda or H&M or anything most of the time those are fake they have just stitched the label there so always try to find out the label in the back and on the sides how to find cuts holes and patches it's a very tricky thing to do you can easily find cuts or holes if you are patient enough to uh, check out the clothes you're buying but finding the patches is a little difficult i will tell you where the patches are mostly hidden torn clothes are mostly hidden if you find anything which is embroidered but at a very unexpected place like you know you are buying a whole shirt and it is embroidered here you find it cool because it looks different but chances are that there was a little cut or hole that has been patched by the embroidery so the best thing to do would be just to check the inside out of the shirt or any particular thing for that matter cuts the best way how i find cuts and uh, holes is i just take the cloth and put it in the light and if there is any cut or pa uh, cut or hole the light will come through that uh, hole more so i can actually see the cuts or holes you can also do one thing that put the put the hand inside the cloth like this and check out everywhere what are the places you mostly find cuts holes or patches there is no definite answer to this but According to my experience, I have found cuts and holes on this area, in the bottom area, on the back and sometimes on the sleeves that we most of the times miss because what we do is we are actually checking out stuff like this. Okay, so this is the sleeve area which actually falls down. So everything is in front of you and you tend to miss the sides or the bottoms so there you find most of the cuts and holes and patches why should you always roll down the sleeves so in Surajinagar you will find that a lot of clothes have rolled up sleeves you really like it it looks really cool and you have already imagined how cool it would look when you'll be wearing it with rolled up sleeves but do not rush wait for a minute pick it up check it out and everything and then always roll down the sleeves because chances are you have most of the flaws hidden in the sleeves uneven stitching it could be uneven hem it could be torn hem it could be a hole it could be anything because i have been a victim of all this where to look for stitched flaws most of the times near the button area hem area and on the sides there you will find most of the stitched flaws. They have cleverly stitched the clothes. What are the 10 items that you must buy in Sarojinagar? Buy whatever you want, whatever you like. But my personal suggestion would be denims, dresses, trousers, bed sheets, a great variety of bed sheets and with a good fabric and amazing prints. 
uh, tops of course uh, footwears blouses you can find really cool and really amazing blouses denim blouses blouses with eyelet holes you will find blouses in the graffiti lane which is a very popular uh, lane in sarojinagar bohemian jewelry uh, kids clothes and you will find branded kit kids clothes like gap tommy um, uh, h&m sunglasses good quality amazing style and make so go for it and uh, what else you can find a lot of sequin stuff and great sequin stuff if you are into parties or if you have a profession where you have to wear a lot of sequin stuff go ahead and buy the sequin stuff there sequin dresses blouses skirts trousers and everything you can think of handbags amazing handbags as i told you in my last video that i have never rolled with the shop numbers so i do not yet know about the shop numbers but i'm soon going to cover all the shop numbers my of my favorite places and there's one shop which actually sells great handbags great quality amazing stuff and quality stuff they do not sell you for 100 or 150 bucks you might have to spend 225 100 2000 over over 1500 i would say but you know what that is worth spending your money on you should have an eye for that and what else have i completed 10 items mm, you can also check out those 50 rupees uh, um, heaps it will feel a little awkward to shop from that no uh, heap but you know what you should always go there because you might find really vintagey cool stuff there and i think that's it and next video i'm going to make is about uh, all the cool stuff i own and bought from sarojinagar so yes guys this is it these are the questions i wanted to cover in this video if you have any other questions please let me know please let me find it out for you and also let me add that if you want to buy stuff from sarojinagar you don't have access to it let me know i will buy it for you i will do a live a video with you and whatever you selected i will buy it for you and i will send it away for a little extra price for my efforts let me know how it sounds okay and if you have any questions about law of attraction do let me know if you have any suggestions about law of attraction do let me know because i would love to talk about it so in the end i would just like to say bye take care Love and light.